Then bad culture is low turnover. If the culture's bad and, no, and nobody ever leaves, what's the culture going to always be? Bad. Now, I'm not saying we're walking around firing all the bad fits, but I'm going to fight those bad fits, and I'm going to fix those bad fits, or I'm going to fire those bad fits. I'm going to give them a chance to be fixed, but then if they don't take the chance to be fixed, they'll take the chance to be fired. We have got, now I'm going to go back to Liz Wiseman's book again. She talks about multipliers. She also talks about blockers. And one of her terms is, get rid of the blockers. A culture has a natural socialization. A culture has a natural organic feel where they work together and help each other. There's always going to be somebody who's trying to block that culture. Think about your teams right now. Take one second and think about your teams right now and pick out the blocker. You can find them. They probably had a phone call from them before and a phone call from them after. They're always blocking something, always fighting something. They're always the problem. And I'm spending 80% of my time on 20% of my people and those are the bad fit people. <coughs> Fix them or fire them. Now, Next question I get is, well, what if they're a top sales performer? What if they're a top performer, but they're fighting and they're not a good fit and it's hard, they're, they're causing an organization, causing problems. They're a performer, but they're hurting the team overall. I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna give you a very technical answer to that question. I'm gonna measure their performance. And if their performance is so good, so far above what the average performance is, that it compensates for their negative effect on the rest of the team, then I gotta deal with them. I'm gonna marginalize them, but I'm gonna let them keep performing. But I will tell you right now on this day, coming from a person who's managed literally hundreds of sales teams, it is rare, very, very rare. Don't allow this as a crutch. Don't fall back on this. Don't make this thing too easy for yourself. It is very, very rare that one individual's performance over average is more than the negative impact that he or she is having over every single other individual on the team. Take the negative impact that he's having over every single other individual on the team and add it all up and I promise you, 99 times out of 100, their performance that's being held back is more than his performance over the average. Fix it or fire it.